Okay, so welcome. This video is about installing air drain, also known as GeoCell, onto pre-existing concrete, patio, or balcony area. So what is an air drain? Okay, so multiple different companies have their different styles, but basically what it is, it allows to go on top of concrete or patios or balconies. It gives a gap of about an inch above, so it allows for more air and also allows for drainage of water and other parts like that to go underneath it into pre-existing drainage. So why and when do you use this stuff? Okay, so you use it when literally you just cannot dig into the ground to do a solid base of either class two or whatever on a traditional install. Um, so perfect times and areas is when it's literally just straight up concrete. Uh, when there's a balcony where you literally cannot dig into that or a roof, uh, perfect for school playgrounds and areas like basketball courts or whatever that are being repurposed for another uh, time or another use that they want to use artificial turf. And it is really good for event spaces as well. So how you actually install this stuff is, well, of course, you know, there's many different ways that you can uh, install this depending on the use that's going to be used for. However, there is primarily two different ways. One, there is a temporary install and then there is a permanent install. It all starts off with, of course, clearing the area, making sure that you can actually access it. From there, you're going to lay out all of the drainage cells all the way around. And then you'll come to a point where you'll be cutting it and making sure that they can actually fit in to all the different grooves and areas like that. Now, if you want to do a permanent install, you can glue it to the base and some people even actually screw it right into the concrete. Most people don't actually want to do it this way. They usually just have it all just sitting down and with the weight of the turf and the infill on top of that is enough to genuinely hold it in place anyway. So how they actually clip in is if you have a look here, they all have a male and a female. You literally just are inserting the male and the female, put it in, then you just slide it and it locks in place that way. Uh, back to the permanent in-store. Um, so some people, we don't really recommend this, but I have heard of people saying they screw down into it. Um, and then you kind of need to have a washer for that. Uh, also another permanent in-store style is when you're laying the turf on top is that you can put glue on this as well. That can help uh, suspend it there as well. It's really up to the person. Keep in mind that this is made to be an air drain. So it needs to have an easy flow of water and air to go underneath it. Okay, so you might be asking then, what are the pros and cons? Well, the pros are, one, it is a lot cheaper to do it this way than actually digging out and demolishing all of this concrete. And it's easily reverted back. It also allows for more airflow, so it actually helps keep the area cooler, which is great if you have a balcony for children or something like that. It's 100% recycled materials on some of the companies that we actually use. So hey, it's great for the environment as well. And just like the name it says, it's for drainage. So for building on top of pre-existing concrete or patios, it is the best way for drainage, especially if you have a built-in drain system that's already waiting. This will literally flow it all down rather than putting turf directly on concrete and gluing it down and it not being able to breathe at all. So if you have pets, this is the better way. Okay, so what are the cons? Well, for starters, you can't really build this stuff up, especially if you're in a large area, it would just look a little bit wonky. It won't actually help with the drainage of the airflow. So if you have an area where you're wanting to make it flat, it can be very difficult to use. It also won't fix any uh, problems with slopage or pre-existing drainage issues. Keep in mind, if you have an area and it's sloping down, it will still go to that same area. So if you don't have a drain there, it's still going to have that same issue. Uh, that's why you want to actually make sure that the contractor is going to either fix that or you're just aware of it uh, beforehand. So in conclusion, GeoCell or drainage tiles are absolutely amazing for the right purpose and the right person. Okay? If you're using it for an event space and you don't have the money to completely demo an area or eventually in the future you're going to need to use that area for a different area, this stuff is absolutely incredible and is worth paying a little bit more rather than putting down directly onto the concrete. Um, I speak very highly of it and I do recommend looking into this if this is the option and the circumstances that you are in. All right, so once we have the cuts all exact and we have a long and a short, we're gonna put them together and we're gonna glue them there. So we're gonna use some seaming tape underneath and then we use an adhesive that's wiped over and then it's all placed down and weighted down and then dried and set. That way it won't come apart. 
And because it's not going into the ground and there's no nails to be able to really attach it and sink it into the ground and pin it down, well, we're going to be using uh, construction adhesive around the outside and certain points throughout along with screws as well onto the drainage tile. And that's how we help secure it for a long term. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the infill on this particular job. Remember, we're gonna be using it to weigh down this entire area. Yes, we do have screws and glue, but this will really weigh it down. We're gonna use Envirofill. This has microband technology. It's a coated silica sand. It's nice and green, so it matches the turf as well. Um, and then we are gonna be using Zeofill. Why are we using Zeofill for pets? when this is not a pet area. Well, it's because it might be, it's an event space. It also helps to hold on to water. You also see here the manufacturer clearly says that it does help with surface temperatures as well. And it's that simple, voila. We got everything spread it around. So as you can see, we're not 100% finished yet. This part, we have the infill in, we have the seams just put together. And we're finishing up this last little bits of the touches of um, cutting it, making it nice. And then we're going to do a power brush. Once that power brush comes in, it will stand all of this up and then it will look absolutely perfect.